Hi, my name is Mary Collen and this is your Yoga to Decompress. Today we're focusing on stretching and calming poses. We're also adding a breathing technique that allows your nervous system to find some ease. Let's get started. Meet me in an easy seat, Sukhasana, cross your legs or find a variation that serves you better. Feel free to use pillows or blankets so you can find that upright position in your spine. What matters is that you are comfortable and it allows you to decompress. I invite you to plant your hands down onto your mat so we can find some grounding breaths in the beginning of this class. You have the option to close your eyes or find a soft gaze down your nose. For now, just notice the ground below you. Feel your fingertips pressing into the floor. And let's take three generous breaths in and out together. Take a deep inhale into your chest, into your rib cage, into your lower belly, expand like a balloon. And a soft exhale through your mouth, feel free to make it audible. <sighs> Again, take a generous breath in to your heart space, into your ribs and lower abdomen. Fill it up like a balloon, breathe in. And an even longer exhale, side out. <sighs> One last time. Breathe in, make it count, make that inhale even deeper. Fill up your trunk through all directions, breathe it in. And an even longer exhale through your mouth, make it more audible. <sighs> Beautiful. Flutter your eyes open. If you have closed them, release your fingers. We're going to do a breathing exercise, but you're never obligated to join. You can always stick to your normal breathing. We're going to do the Nadi Shodana, the alternate nostril breathing, as it helps us to calm down our nervous system and it balances out our energy channels. At any time, you can always pause and Come back to your normal breathing as well. For now, let's find the Vishnu Mudra where you bend your index fingers and your middle finger and extend your other fingers. You can rest your other hand onto your leg. Lift up your elbow so you can widen your chest and let more air in into your lungs. Rest your thumb lightly onto the cartilage part and your ring finger on both sides of your nose. For now, just leave them on gently. Take a normal breath in, no pressing down yet. And a normal breath out of your nose, seal your lips. Now press your thumb into your right nostril if you are using your right hand. Otherwise, it's going to be your ring finger on your left hand. Breathe in gently through your left nostril. Close your left nostril. Open your right nostril and exhale through your right nostril. Slow breath into your right nostril. Close your right side, open your left side Slow breath out through your left nostril. And feel free to close your eyes. Inhale through your left side. Switch, close your left side, open your right side. Gently breathe out through your right nostril. Inhale through your right side. 
close your right side open your left and breathe out through your left slow inhale through your left press down through your left open your right side slowly exhale through your right nostril Breathe in through your right. Close your right side, open your left, and gently breathe out through your left nostril. Let's do one more round. Inhale through your left. Close your left, open your right, exhale through your right. Take a breath in through your right side. Close your right nostril, open your left. And gently breathe out through your left nostril one last time. Release your hand from your nose. And feel the sensation in your body. What has shifted for you? How are you feeling now, in this very moment? And when you're ready, flutter your eyes open. And let's get into tabletop. I'm so sorry to move you, my sweetheart. I know. You can ditch your pillow for now. Align your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Take a breath in for cow, drop your belly, reach your heart forward, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, cat pose, snap your belly in, tuck your chin in. And for the next cat and cows, I invite you to just find more movements that feel good in your body, maybe rotating your hips. Snake your spine, rotate your neck. This is entirely up to you what you need in this very moment. You may even intensify wrist stretch by bringing your fingers to the right and left side or point your fingers all the way back and you can do your cat and cows that way as well. Take three more breaths here to find your expression, whatever your body needs that allows you to decompress. Meet me back in tabletop, please. <laughs> Step back into high plank and lower down to your mat. Come into Sphinx Pose. Align your elbows underneath your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders back. Soften the muscles in your legs, please. And gaze out in front of you. If this is too much in your lower back, feel free to walk your hands more forward. If you'd like to intensify the stretch, you can also come into seal pose to press yourself up. Bring your hands a little wider. Yoga is like cooking. You pick the ingredients that feel best to you. Take three more breaths here on your own. On your next breath in, press yourself up. Then come into child's pose. Bring your big toes to kiss. Widen your knees. Surrender your torso and head down. Walk your fingertips a little more forward. Feel the stretch in your back, in your shoulders, also in your hips.
track your fingers back, plant your left hand into the middle of your mat, breathe in, elevate your right arm, exhale, thread the needle, fly your right hand underneath your chest over to your left, and feel free to use your left hand as a little cushion for your head. And breathe. On your next inhale, slowly press your torso back up, reach your right hand high, exhale, now plant your right hand where your left hand was, breathe in, raise your left arm, exhale, thread the needle, guide your left hand underneath your torso over to your right side, rest your head on your right hand. Breathe in, press yourself up, lift your left hand, exhale, come back to tabletop, tuck your toes under, breathe in, exhale, downward facing dog, elevate your hips, use your lower abdomen to press your hips up into the sky, anchor down through your index fingers and thumbs, and then feel free to pat out your legs. Find softness in your hamstrings, loosen up your body. Breathe in, fly your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, place it through. Feel free to use blankets or pillows underneath your left knee. I'm going to use knee pads as they allow me to stay at ease in my stretching poses. Tuck your left toes under. Find a hip width distance alignment in your feet. And come up when you're ready. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a breath in. Lift the crown of your head a little higher. Axe twist to your right from your heart space. Now add your arms, send your right arm back and your left hand forward. Take one more inhale, elevate your sternum. Exhale, rainbow your right hand down to your left heel and your left arm up toward the sky and over. Twist to your right side. Stretch your torso. Your body. <laughs> now with your next inhale, guide your left hand forward. Hold on to your left foot with your right hand. Flex your left toes. It's a little bit of a balance challenge. Shimmy your left shoulder back and your right shoulder forward. So we're adding a little quad stretch here. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release your hands and your left foot down. Rock your weight forward and back about three times. Until you meet me in a half split, Ardha Hanumanasana. Flex your right toes, micro bend your right knee. Take breath in, soar your heart forward, exhale, gently fold, lead with your heart, avoid coming too much down into the fold, rather let this be an easy expression.
breathe in come back up exhale walk your right foot over to your left to get into half pigeon you always have the option to do a supine figure four on your back instead level your hip bones forward take a breath and roll your shoulders back open your heart exhale sleeping pigeon lower down to your mat with your torso or head as well and breathe here for a few cycles of breath slowly press yourself back up please untangle your legs send it back and come back into downward facing dog and bend one leg then the other to loosen up your legs <clears throat> inhale elevate your left leg exhale low lunge step it through Lower your right knee if you have used a blanket on your left knee. I recommend doing the same on the other side. Tuck your right toes under. Align your legs hip with distance. And when you're ready, bring your hands to your heart. Take a breath in. Send the crown of your head a little higher. Exhale, twist from your heart to your left side. And then feel free to add your arms, send your left arm back, your right arm forward. Take one more inhale. Exhale, rainbow your right arm up, your left arm down. Land on your right heel this time. Twist open to your left side and stretch your right body. Now on your next in breath, send your right arm forward, hold on to your right foot, flex your right toes gaze out in front of you so adding a little quad stretch again chin your right shoulder back your left shoulder a little more forward and take one more inhale exhale release your hands and your right foot shift your weight forward and back three times until you meet me again in an, in a half slip splits Ardha Hanan Manasana. Flex your left toes, micro bend your left knee, breathe in, float your heart forward, lengthen your spine, exhale gently fold, avoid pulling too much on your lower back, lead with your heart, Inhale, press yourself back up. Exhale, walk your left foot over to your right into half pigeon again. Option to find supine figure four on your back instead. 
Beam your hip bones forward. Open your chest, roll your shoulders back. Take a breath in. Exhale, half pigeon. Lower down onto your torso and forehead. And breathe. Gently press yourself back up on your next inhale. Untangle your left leg and come back into downward facing dog on your exhale. Shake out your legs one last time. Lower down onto your booty. You can still hold on to your blanket. If you'd like to use that underneath your bum, or if you have pillows, feel free to use those too. The next pose, we're going to do a yin expression of the forward fold. So let your feet and legs play open naturally, no effort here, just ease. Move the fleshy part aside. And just walk yourself gently forward. Avoid any pulling on your lower back. And you can also use your hands to support your head to avoid overextending your neck muscles in the back. So we're just keeping it soft and natural here. Inhale, you know, come back up. Exhale, lower down and pencil your body. Point your toes away from you your hands over your head, spread your fingers wide, stretch it out, decompress, take a deep inhale, exhale banana pose, shift your hands torso over to your right and your right leg over to your right as well, cross your left leg over your right, so we're creating a C shape in our body. Option to grab onto your left wrist to intensify the lateral stretch. Breathing, come into center. Exhale, shift your torso, your arms over to your left and your left leg over to your left and cross your right leg over your left leg. Option to hold on to your right wrist to intensify the stretch. Breathe in, come back to center. <laughs> I know, I know, baby girl. Exhale, guide your knees toward your chest to just reset for a moment. Plant your feet down, hip width distance. Scoot your hips over to your right side. Breathe in, exhale, super in twist. Let your knees drop over to your left side. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Either cactus your arms or bring your right thumb to your right hip crease. Now my cat is on top. I hope you can see that. You just bring it right here. 
to lengthen up your spine take a breath in it's a little assisted stretch and as you exhale use your left hand to gently pull down on your right outer thigh to deepen your twist inhale come back to center I know scoot your hips over to your left side exhale drape your knees over to your right side stack your left hip as much as is possible over your right hip either cactus your arms again or bring your left thumb into your left hip crease <laughs> okay you got it yeah take your breath and lengthen up your spine exhale use your right hand on outside of your left thigh to deepen your twist very gently not a lot of force here on your next breath in come back to center exhale happy baby pose either grab for your thighs your calves or your feet Root down your tailbone, your back, the back of your head. Rock from side to side if that feels good. Last toes, pipina. Take one more inhale. Exhale, come into a tiny ball. Squeeze every muscle one more time, breathe it in. Exhale, Shavasana. Extend your legs, your arms. Get comfortable. This is your last pose of this class. And feel free to stay as long as it feels good for you. And let's you decompress a little more. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was such a pleasure teaching this class to you. Namaste.